r slash credit by Mr. Greet story. What made the weird kid at your school weird? He always carried around a briefcase, but never opened it. Sat on the briefcase during lunch, classes, etc. It was like the nuclear football, always in his hand, or he was sitting on it. He carried it onto the stage during graduation, got his diploma, right as he was leaving the stage. He opened it up, and dumped a bunch of confetti on the principal. I guess it was the long con? No one questioned why he was carrying it on stage. Mustard boy. I'll never forget him. He would cover his lunch tray in mustard. Chicken nuggets. Mustard. Mexican pizza. Mustard. Breakfast for lunch. Mustard. It didn't matter what it was, he would drench it in mustard. He wasn't doing it too, just to make a mess of his lunch tray. He always finished his mustard food. Edit. Mexican pizza was a hexagon shaped pizza with sausage and shredded taco seasoned cheese on top. It wasn't at all Mexican, but that's what it was called. He would jack off in the middle of class. He didn't actually pull it out, but he would aggressively rub the side of his pants and his face would get really red while staring at the girls in the class. Everybody noticed but a word was never spoken about it. He was on a hair trigger, would snap and threaten people. Suspended multiple times. Two memorable incidents were, when we freaked out at an art teacher, went to his locker, and came back with a bull whip. He made that thing snap, and sent everyone running. She barricaded herself in the supply room. Another time someone made the mistake of teasing him about something and everyone laughed, and he pulled a knife, and screamed who wants to the first to die. He was expelled, and I'm not sure what became of him. I had a girl hiss at me in 5th grade. Hadn't seen her in about 16 years. Recently went to a party she was attending. She asked if I remembered her, and said boy howdy. She hissed again. I always knew she was weird. Kid always wore a zoot suit. Every day. Not that weird I guess. But back in high school. Weird as fuck. Edit. Some more details. These were not Salvation Army slash hand me downs quality. This kid wore nothing but high quality zoot suits. With a chain and nice shoes to match. Every once in a while he had a chrome tipped. Black cane. He had bright colored ones. Pinstriped ones. Dark blue ones. And pure black ones. Didn't see him with the hat very often though. This was in 2005 slash 6. I think he won best dressed in the yearbook. I don't have one to confirm though. Edit. 2. A letter. There was a kid in my school who was obsessed with Mario. He had Mario sweatshirts and notebooks and a Mario backpack. Well someone figured out that if you told him Mario is dead he'd flip. Scream and cry fuck you know he's not every time. He got in trouble multiple times for attacking kids who said anything about Mario dying, even if they were talking about in the context of Smash Brothers or something. This happened 8th 10th grade then I never saw him again. She was a furry who tried recruiting people into her newly founded furry religion where the type of furry you were spiritually was based on your birthday like some fucking astrology bs. She also had a boyfriend who was into the whole furry thing, but in a really weird sexual way cause they'd make out on the floor, or in the lounge areas and bark slash growl at each other and it just made everything uncomfortable for everyone. Edit. This happened in my first year of college, if that adds to the weirdness. Teachers had to make a public announcement banning people from making out, and doing all that romantic stuff on campus bc of how bad it got. Kid smelled like he bathed in cat pee every day pissed at anyone who came near him, used to run through the hallways from class to class, threatened to kill me in a computer lab because I used Internet Explorer instead of Firefox. The vine where a kid goes I have the power of God and Anam on my side and screams as a banshee went to my middle school. He was maybe 4 grades underneath me, but his weirdness turned him into one of the most popular kids in his grade. I had a few. One was obsessed with Alation culture, kind of random. Since we lived in a very rural community in Canada with little connection to the outside world, let alone to Asia, and would lose her mind if anyone said anything remotely negative about it. It started out as mainly just a fixation on Pokemon, anime, and pop, but quickly branched out to all things Asian. She once hit me with a textbook because we were discussing M Butterfly in class, and I said that I didn't like it. This was at age 16. 
Another kid used to pick his nose until it bleeds and then goes home because he had a nosebleed. He would also eat the budgers. We were all surprisingly chill about that part of his personality. The thing we all hated most about this kid is that he would lie about the most random stuff. Like he would deny that he got hit when playing dodgeball or caught when playing tag on the playground. One time my neighbor made me a little inukshuk glue to a piece of driftwood and I brought it to school to show the class. This kid picked it up in front of everyone, immediately dropped and broke it, and then denied that it was him that broke it, even though we had all literally watched him do it. He cried when we continuously called him out on it. This was also at age 16. Edited to add that the lying kid one time broke his arm and came to school in a sling. The next day the sling was on the opposite arm. Even the teacher called him out on that one. I had a locker above him, and he always yelled something stupid. The most common phrase was I got balls in my face. He also somehow brought koala poop to the school. Edit. There was a possibility that it really wasn't koala poop, but it was small brown pellet in a small bag with a koala on it. He would have full conversations, arguments, and sometimes physical altercations with a brick column in the middle of the cafeteria. My weird kid stood up at an assembly and asked the vice principal if she knew what hente was. Edit. She did not comment on whether or not she did. He was just told to sit down because the students immediately started laughing. Sorry for the unsatisfying ending. He was caught eating berries off of a tree branch in a compost trash can in 5th grade. He'd act feral around everyone else, but if you got to know the kid he was actually pretty down to earth and cool. In middle school around 6th grade, I tried getting to know him better and found out he might have had some kind of multiple personality disorder and was grateful for someone who didn't judge him that much. I'd try my best to not get him to do stupid shit. He was later expelled for what everyone said was biting a teacher. I saw him once during high school and he got really fucking hot and seemed way chilled out. When I asked about why he left he said he wasn't allowed to talk about it, but was getting help so that's always good Gabe. If you're out there I hope you're doing well. His dad started a house fire, insurance scam, and died in the fire. This was around 6th grade. I that messed him up a bit. The kid would tap his feet and hands uncontrollably, and he talked about shooting people. He wrote his crush's name on the wall in the bathroom, with his own shit. They caught him brown handed. Also, would freak out if someone said werewolf. An immortal vampire, and walked around talking and acting the part. His go to excuse for not having homework finished, was that he was traveling. Even though he was at every class, and he never paid attention to anything but his fidget spinner, unless he was talking. The way he spoke, he knew everything there was about creative writing, yet his submissions consisted of plots ripped off directly from anime. This was in a college class. There was a kid at my high school who never talked. It wasn't that he couldn't speak, or that he only spoke to his close friends. He just wouldn't speak to anyone. Teachers didn't call on him, because they knew he didn't talk. When a substitute would come in and try to call on him there was always some kid who would have to explain Ricky doesn't talk. If you asked him a question he would just look at you. It was weird and some people would take offense to his silence. But eventually, everyone realized that was just his thing and rolled with it. The only time he spoke was when we had to present individually in class. On those days people would get really excited if they had a class with him, because hearing him talk was like seeing a unicorn. Edit. A lot of people have mentioned this possibly being a case of selective mutism. I looked up the diagnosis, and it seems like a good match. There were also rumors from kids who rode the bus with him who said that once he got off the bus, he would meet up with his neighborhood friends and, presumably, talk to them. When he did present in class he didn't have a weird voice or any strange vocal qualities. Edit 2. Oh wow. This really took off. I never thought my most influential comment would be about Ricky haha. Thank you for giving me my first ever edit silver. I really appreciate it. A lot of people have asked me if they knew Ricky. I will tell you that I went to school in Kentucky and I graduated in 2013. If I give any more information publicly I would feel like I'm violating his privacy, and that's not cool. If you still think you know him, I'll continue to respond to private messages and confirm or deny your guess.
I have also been asked to add a link to slash r slash selective mutism for anyone who wants to find a supportive community of other people like Ricky. Continue to watch. The best is still to come. Well had one guy that was always talking big shit, faking injuries, bend my ankle, so I can't practice slash liver is burning, etc, always drew pentagrams on shit, took Japanese so he could get a waifu, just all around a fucking creep with girls too. Well go arrested for CP here last month, I wasn't surprised. Weird. I didn't have any weird kids in school. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, as soon as I saw the question I was disappointed I couldn't out the weird kid at my school. I was the weird kid at my school. He once asked me to be his gay slave, so I don't even know how to feel about that. I just wanted some UGIO cards that I wasn't even going to use. Not exactly the weird kid, but definitely the kid not many people wanted to interact with, was very pushy, generally awkward. I also often tried being all cool by using big words but failing miserably. But the thing that took the cake was when some girl sent the entire grade something along the lines of say your name x times, say your parents name x times, and then say your crush name x, and in a few days your crush will be with you. And he actually responded to the email. It was an awkward year till his crush left. Edit 1. The crush did not leave because of him or anything. This was an international school, so it was quite common that students would come and go, plus the country we are in, not gonna mention name, is not in the best conditions these days, so that may have been one of the reasons. The reason I'm here is because of my mother's work. Anyway thanks for all the upvotes. Edit 2, thanks for the silver kind stranger. He would talk to himself and sit in the hallways reciting as many digits of pi as he could. He was a small harmless kid that everyone treated well because he was endearingly weird, if that makes sense. Then he murdered a girl immediately after graduation and hid her body in his bathtub. Edit. For the people interested in more or who think I'm lying, the kid's name was Jonathan Townsend. There's a lot more to the story. I didn't think many people would be this interested. There are a few news articles to look at just by googling his name, but this one does a good job of explaining how nice he was at school vs how evil he was at home. He walked around like Master Chief, even teabagged the ground randomly, all while holding an invisible assault rifle. Did he walk like he was holding the assault rifle? Yes. All he needed was a costume and he would have been out British Rail apostrophe iron kids all day long. She was afraid of cows, and if you said moo, or mentioned cows she'd freak out and attack you. I'll give it to her though she'd even try to attack guys three times her size that was athletes. I was in year 10th when he came up from primary school. I don't know what was wrong with him, but he'd always pretend to be a train and chug along through the quad. People would chuckle as he went past, but he didn't care. He and his other weird mate would just scoot on by minding their own business. When I was in year 11th one of the scatter kids, a proper mom, through and through, blocked his tracks and took the mick out of him. A group of us shoved him out of the way and berated him for it and encouraged the train boy to go on his way. Ours wasn't the best school in the district, but goddamn at least the trains ran on time. Edit. Thank you to the people who gave me the award things. I don't want to seem ungrateful, but I'd rather you donate to your local favorite charities. Year 10th. 14 over 15 years old, the penultimate year of secondary school. The quad, an outdoor social area in a square slash rectangle shape, where the moderately popular kids hung out at our school. Good memories. Mate, friend, scatter kid, the dirty, unhygienic, funny looking, and or misbehaving kid. In this context a short lad with buck teeth with a bad case of small man syndrome. Man, man to me, always just meant someone who behaved like a cretin and had negative aspirations, but it has further connotations that are deemed a blister at this point t. Take the mic, taking the Michael, to make fun of. I'm from the Texas of England, Yorkshire. She wore bat ears and a black cape and would scream her name while running down the hallway Goku style. Her name was Elizabeth, but she asked that she be called Lizard. Edit. Apparently there are thousands of lizards running around the US and we are 100% about it. Long live the lizard queen. 
Second edit. Yes I meant Naruto. I'm an anime literate. I apologize. I went to high school with the wolf kid from the meme, on all levels except physical. I'm a wolf next image his embarking at the water. He called himself Wolfie. So I would say that guy. He brought a used condom he found into school. She carried a stuffed rabbit everywhere, only wore leggings, and constantly propositioned people to have a threesome with her and her boyfriend. Edit. She wore leggings as pants, and this was before that became a trend. Gosh, where do I begin? He was weird but more creepy. He wore a kilt to school, rumors say with no underwear, on multiple occasions. He talked about how attractive his sister was to the point where a lot of us wondered why he moved to Minnesota from, no shit, Alabama in the middle of the school year without his sister or dad. He brought his mom's dildos and vibrators to school to try and sell them. He ended up getting expelled for that, but a lot of people say it was because of the number of girls who came forward and said he was following them home. Edit, wasn't expecting this to become my most upvoted comment. I texted my friend who had a lot of classes with him, and she told me some more things about this kid. He masturbated during class, while they were watching a WWII documentary. He got suspended for this. He would hide under the bleachers during assemblies, and play the kazoo during the national anthem. Rumor has it, he would also pinch people's butts, male or female. Looking back, now that we know what it is, most of the weird kids I knew growing up probably had depression, were abused, or were autistic. He ate playground gravel, and used the urinal with his pants and underpants all the way down. Edit. Wow, this blew up. I guess I'll just add that the kid I'm talking about ate the gravel, because apparently he thought it tasted like pizza, and that I distinctly remember one time, when I and a bunch of other kids were huddled around the bathroom door watching him do his business and I just remember that bare ass of how weird it was that someone would use the urinal like that. He truly thought he was a dirt bike. He would run through the halls jumping off of lockers and make the shifting gears noises with his mouth. Absolute mad lad. He shit himself regularly point deliberately. He was always running around in the shape of an 8. If you just said hello to him he started screeching and attacked you with his lunch box and once he ate a Kit Kat with the plastic. In 8th grade, this girl used to finger herself in class. She wasn't good at hiding it, hands under a hoodie in her lap, and we all noticed the room would start to smell, but, edit, had a few similar questions slash comments and my inbox is a mess, so I'll answer them here. Did we go to school together? Sounds like a lot of you have had similar experiences. I'm not giving the school name or anything but I will say this happened in Maryland. Around back quote 02 slash back quote 03. Was she hot? Irrelevant to the real point of this post but no, she was not an attractive person to me. I was unaware this was a sign of sexual abuse. I cannot deny or confirm if that was a thing. I only know what happened in class. I hope this wasn't the case. She was a very reclusive individual and didn't have many friends. Thanks for the conversation and insight folks. The kid in my class would jerk off. You would hear him grunt and then wipe his hands on his desk. Edit. It would be rubbed on top of the desk, let dry, then rubbed some more to peel off. He licked his hands once after. It happened multiple times. Grade 5. Teacher saw. One girl did say something to the teacher but nothing happened 1999 was a weird time. He shit at school. Weird enough. But would have the cubicle door open. He would then wipe his, but then hold the tissue up to his face and smell it. I'd like to just add, this all happened within 30 odd seconds or so. I and a mate were going to the toilets to smoke before the next lesson. The cubicles were around the corner from the urinals when we turned the corner. The lad who shall not be named, who might I add, had no known learning disabilities or mental issues wiped his bottom then sniffed the toilet paper that he'd just used to wipe his bum hole. True story. I don't condone being a pervert, however, yes I'm a bit weird, but in no way, went into the toilets, to see a pee pee or some guy sniff his poo. We had like 3 weird kids tbh. The first one was a guy, that I saw pour an entire bottle of water onto a sandwich, and then eat the sloppy mess, making weirdly appreciative noises, he's the one, that ended up coming to school with a gun, 
but according to our school, handed himself into the police. The second was some kid that never showered, apparently had a Russian girlfriend who was pregnant, but he had no evidence of this girlfriend. I had some weird obsession with making stabby things out of anything. And lastly was this girl, that literally just wanted to fight everyone, looked like a space raider, and said a shitload of racist and homophobic stuff. She ended up leaving the school, after she picked a fight with the wrong person. Edit. Holy shit I wasn't expecting this to blow up. Space raiders are a type of British crisp, but you Americans call them chips. I'm in fact from England, not Florida haha. <laughs> In high school, he wore a tail and anim hat, and sometimes on the way up from the gym he'd clutch his chest, as if he'd been stabbed in anim warfare and collapse somewhere down the hallway, as if he'd been killed in battle, and it would happen just out of nowhere. I'd be walking behind him, and bam surprise anim scene with groaning and all. He was a really solid guy, and had a good heart he was just really odd at that time. Edit, it hurts my soul, that this is my most upvoted post across all accounts. She wore long, multicolored, mismatched socks pulled up to her knees. She didn't so much as sit in chairs as she perched in them, knees to chest kind of thing. She dressed and looked like a boy at an all girls school. She had that I don't give a fuck, what you think of me, here let me prove it, by doing something really strange kind of attitude. Loud, kind of crazy, unashamedly loved anim and metal music did the whole goth thing as best one could with a school uniform. Frequently reminded everyone at a Catholic school that she was atheist and proud of it, caused several fights between her and the theology teachers, weird as shit, and one of my best friends. I think I'm seeing her on Sunday. When I was in kindergarten I brought cheesy broccoli in for show and tell. It was my favorite thing that my mom made to eat, and I wanted to share it with everyone. I was really excited too, and helped her prepare it the morning before school and thought everyone would think it was cool I brought something everyone could eat instead of something like a toy like most people. The rest of the class was not as excited as me and no one, except the teacher and I think maybe my friend Nick, ate any of it. I was a bit disappointed that nobody liked it, but at the same time I was happy because it meant more for me. From that day on I was the weird kid that brought vegetables to show and tell. Luckily, my friend Nick was also weird, and so was Juan, that came to our class the next year, because although we were the weird kids of the class we weren't alone. Thank you for watching. Tell me which one was your favorite? Like subscribe and hit that notification bell for more. The next video will be even more interesting. You are a legend.